headphone out. Hopefully I won't disconnect you. Are you there still? Actually, you know what? Let me do that. My other ear is better. Are you still here? Ma? Okay, good. I hear music. What music is that? Is that a commercial? I'm listening to her ad. Hi, everybody. If you're just joining me and there's, I don't see anybody yet, but I hear people are waiting. I want to try something different if you're joining me after the fact. Yeah, you're going to have to mute it because I can hear myself. <laughs> We're going to try something. Okay. Okay. It's, it, yeah, there's a lag time, right? Um, hi. I, I'm going to try something different. I'm by myself. Jim's at work. But I'm not by myself because I have my bestie in my ear. She's going to hopefully tell me what you guys are talking about because I can't read the comments because A, blind, B, far away. So, combination. Oh, yay! Because it's like surprise on a Sunday afternoon. Um, hi, Linda and Catherine. Thanks, Ma. Um, so, I'm just going to start really quickly because the lady was like, you've got ice cream and you should get in the freezer as soon as possible. But what I decided to do was we needed some like basic stuff. We needed milk and bread and eggs. Hold on. It's already ripped. Normally I would not rip a bag like this, but it's already ripped. Um, and then they were out of a lot of things, which I'll share with you too. I did say I was going to bring the order up on my iPad to tell you guys about the prices, but I don't know that that's going to work. There's just a lot of stuff going on right now. Hello, whoever that is. Who's dead? Yay! This is different for me, so we're gonna try it. And if it were, if it doesn't work out, then we won't do it again. But um, so I ordered some stuff from Aldi, Instacart. They're still limiting the people that go into the Aldi. So standing outside, and it's like feels like I said they think it's a they it feels like it's 96 or something out with the humidity, and there was no way I was waiting out in the line to go in. Plus. It's just worth it for me to pay a little extra money to get the stuff delivered to the house. We use Instacart Express, so it's free shipping and I get like a discount. Today I saved an extra $10 because somebody used my referral code. Thank you. I'm just going to dig in because I want to get my milk in the fridge. But I got my favorite gallon of milk. I do whole milk because of my blood sugar. If you guys have any questions, Lisa is fielding the comments, but she's in my ear and she'll tell me everything. Um, I got two sugar-free vanilla creamers those are my best favorite vanilla they're the cheapest they're even cheaper than walmart um but i really like the way that they're creamier i don't know why i picked up my pint of sour cream we use this on everything do you use sour cream on everything um but lately i've been in like a ambrosia kick so i just take like no sugar added fruit cocktail maybe no sugar added pineapple or peaches and i mix it together with sour cream does anybody else like ambrosia let me know you guys want a recipe i'll share it i picked up two well i didn't pick up i'm gonna say that even though the lady shop i picked up two of the big house crescent rolls because we didn't have any and we wanted that quiche this morning and we didn't get it um i'm gonna put my glasses on to see what i'm doing go ahead yes you he stopped Jim is not mixing Diet Mountain Dew anymore. Sheila wants to know how is Jim doing with it. He he chickened out pretty much. It's hard to do, not not taking sides or starting an argument, but it's hard to do when like, um, mom's really like steadfast. Like it, she won't even drink Pepsi. It's not even about like regular diet for her. It's just like, it's gotta be Coke and, it, and specifically from certain bottles and containers. So it's hard to try to train him to do, like train isn't the right word, but try to encourage him to do it when he doesn't see it being done elsewhere. Um, two cans of flaky layer biscuits. These are our best favorite, they're jumbo. We actually had these for breakfast this morning. On Sunday, I like to do like a Sunday brunch sort of thing for the family. Um, today was bacon, eggs, and sausage and biscuits. So I know a lot of calories, things we don't need. I also picked up a regular half and half. I like this when I'm out of creamer. And I also like it for that Delgando coffee, that whipped coffee. I like it in there. Um, 
Oh, look, they're little. I'll tell you what I mean in a second. We're gonna try this gravy and Salisbury steak. So mom, this is one of mom's things that she likes the Salisbury steak, but we never had the Berman brand. Uh, Burmer brand, I apologize. Um, so we're gonna give it a try. This is like that family size serving. Um, get something for me, Ma. Oh, yeah. Hi, Debbie. So the biscuits, I have a couple of recipes on my channel. Thank you, Lisa. The biscuits are really good for the baked French toast. I have a, a recipe on my channel where basically I cut up the biscuits in little pieces and I make French toast bake in the oven. Um, they're also good for an egg casserole dish that I have on my, on my channel as well. So you can make it with sausage or bacon. I use taco cheese, uh, egg whites with a couple of eggs, kind of like the quiche except I use biscuits instead of potato um, hash browns and I put it in a rectangle or square casserole dish depending on how thick I want it. Also, the, these biscuits are amazing for monkey bread. If you guys interested in me making monkey bread because blah. Um, and then the crescent rolls are that new quiche that I just invented, but I didn't, I fixed it. I don't know, I, I, I altered some recipe that I saw. But this is like taco blob. I never made the taco blob. You made the taco blob for me. You typing in taco blob or people just don't know you're talking in my ear? Okay. Lisa said taco blob, which is basically like a taco wrap casserole thingy. Um, but I also love this for my pigs in the blanket. It's just a cheat. When we were little, we used to just use the, the 10 little biscuits and roll them out because we were poor. And you got more bang for your buck then. Um, okay. Sheila, hi, go ahead. Okay, party plans are going fantastically. I'm not sharing anything yet because I have very few secrets that I'm able to keep from my guests. Um, and I'm trying to do the best I can to keep secrets, but I'm going to film everything and I'm going to share everything as soon as my party is over. Actually, I'll probably share things like as the weekend goes, like once they've seen something, I'll share the video of how I did that and such. So thank you for asking. Picked up four of our favorite breakfast sausage. These are uh, breakfast, breakfast best brown and serve pork link sausages. My freezer holds six and we had two, so I bought four. This was a new item. It's by Belgiosa, and I'll tell you what it looks. That's how you say it. It's how you say it, Belgiosa. It's fresh mozzarella pearls, but look, they're like little mozzarella pearls. Yum, right? Okay, she said yum in my ear. Type yum in the thing so people don't think I'm crazy. But these are good till July 26th, so these are gonna be from my party. Hey, I'm gonna have cheese bowls at my party. I also have cheese curds at my party too. I bought cheese curds the last time. Okay, let me move this over. I'm gonna put all of this stuff in here. So you guys ask me questions now. I'll put all this stuff in here. No questions? All right. <laughs> Janie, my sister? Oh. Oh, hi, I never heard. Oh, okay. Uh, me too. So, you know, with plannings, with DIYs, or with party planning, you know, you can plan and plan and plan and plan and plan, but not until you go to put it in does it all always work out. Um, I'm just going to pack all this stuff back to make it easier for me to put it away in a minute, guys, okay? So, oh, you had them? Now, how did you serve them, Kimberly? I would love to know. I was thinking about making them with a little bit of like, almost like, um, what's it called, Lisa? The It's basil, tomato, fresh garlic. Not bruschetta, but when you do it to, yeah, when you do it with the, the mozzarella cheese. Does somebody else know what I'm talking about? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? It's cap caprese salad. Yes, so. Yes, thank you. Perfect timing. Um, so I think I'm going to do that. Um, so the other cold bag I'm going to do really quick because she was panicking. Um, I picked up my favorite pint of mint chocolate chip ice cream. This is by Ber Belmont. And I love this one because like Briars, they don't tint it green. 
It has a natural little tint of green because of the mint, but it's not dyed. It's not, it's not dead. <laughs> I finally was able to get back to Aldi to get some eggs. So I got three dozen of my favorite golden hen eggs. Okay. Oh, how cute. You know what would be really cute too? Grapes and grape tomatoes with the little pearls. <gasps> this is so cute. Oh my God, I just made a totally adorable thing I might have to do. So you guys will laugh at this because this is like a typical people who have never been on a diet move, right? So I ordered keto ice cream and they substituted Brookie dough. Not keto. Delicious. I keep ordering it because they substituted it. But I leave it up to Jesus. So I say, you know what? Let me let me order the keto and if they're out, we'll replace it with the brookie dough. So Jesus wanted me to have it. These were two limited time items and they sounded amazing. This is holy guacamole avo verde salsa. So it's avocado as well as tomatillos and all of the things. Yum, right? And this one is holy guacamole layered dips. And this is with black beans over guacamole. So can you see the layers on the side? Yum, right? So good. Oh, yeah, because Jesus because Jesus said to get this ice cream. Ah, she knows. <laughs> she knows. Both of these are going to be probably saved for my party, too. I'm not really sure. I'd have to eat both of them before my party gets to get here. So. We'll have to see. Um, I think that's it for the cold stuff. I'm not going to put the eggs in this bag. Um... <laughs> And guacamole. Yes, I like my ice cream white, but my guacamole needs to be green. Today we decided to get five pounds of potatoes. Um, the problem is last time we had the 10 pounds and my friend never got them. So then I felt like there was such a waste. Um, and potatoes happens to be one of those things that she can get this time of year at the food bank really easy. So we just picked up five pounds and I'm loving the choices that Tanya made because Tanya was my shopper today. She got like baking sized potatoes and that's really what I use them for. I use them in lieu of like baking potatoes. Um, so I'm really happy with that. Yes. <laughs> oh, thanks. I love it too. So the original plans for this was I was gonna have Lisa do this while I was live crafting, but I was like, that's gonna be like way too many bowls to juggle as it is hauling and live talking is going to be enough balls and i was like it's probably best to like not start off big you know um broccoli total 100 percent repeat purchase you guys know that's where i only get my broccoli from there unless they're sold out this i was excited for they had baby bellas so i normally we normally get these mushrooms which are just like white mushrooms and you get eight ounces and these ones look pretty good actually a little dirty but but baby bellas so if you don't know, portobello mushrooms are so meat and savory, like that umami flavor that you can get. I love them. And I said meat, but I meant meaty because I make up words. So it's ironic that I'm talking to, at least is on the, in my ear, because until uh, I was 27, right? First time I went to Georgia, I was 27. No, 24, 26, 25, one of those days. I never had yellow squash before that. And... I picked up some because now it's like one of my favorites. It just is. <gasps> Giant head of cabbage. That's a really nice head of cabbage. The last, last time I bought the cabbage from Aldi, it was kind of on the small side. So I'm kind of glad this is nice and big. I am loving this dish. I'm dying to share with you. It's cabbage, onions, and kibasi. I mean, there's other seasoning and stuff in it, but oh my gosh, it's my favorite. And I'm kind of like eating it like, because it's on keto and I, well, I don't do keto, but I do low carb. So if it's a keto recipe, it's probably gonna be pretty good for me. I just have to watch the fat. It's a surprise. I'm actually going to have possibly, Lisa, hold your ears. If you're, if you're a party guest, hold your ears. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually wanna have a different one every day. So um, that being said, none of them are gonna be huge because there's only gonna be you know, the seven or of us or whatever. So, um, and I have some specialty diets. So I kind of feel like I'm going to do, uh, like maybe Friday will be this one. And then 
Saturday will be this kind and then Sunday will be this kind and touch on everybody's diets, that kind of thing. So, Carvel ice cream cake, way to go, my favorite. It's actually in my shopping cart for Walmart grocery pickup all the time. Um, I, think, I think everybody can have that except the people who aren't keto. Oh, well, more for us. Um, Jim needed barbecue sauce, so we picked up the, the Berman's. This is hickory and brown sugar. And this is like the knockoff Sweet Baby Ray's, and he really likes them. I bought, I hauled some sugar-free things from Target that you guys haven't seen that haul yet. Sugar-free Sweet Baby Ray's, it's just called Ray's, out of this world. He almost ate my whole bottle, so I was like, do you want me to just get that again? He's like, no, it's too much money for the amount of barbecue sauce that I use. He'll probably end up switching. We needed a reduced sodium soy sauce. Is there a lot of funny things happening there? You're just laughing at me. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Aaron. Wait, can I just ask you, is it Aaron? You're saying Aaron or not Aaron? Okay, Aaron. Okay. Like, like Aaron go bra. Um, Berman steak sauce. Amazing. We had, <laughs> had to emergency order dinner the other night and I was, I used the rest of my steak sauce, so. Yeah, you can emergency order dinner, it happens. Um, we needed some more plain breadcrumbs. So these are the ones we usually get chef's cupboard. But while I was picking these up, I noticed that they had a can of plain panko. Now usually we get panko in a bag and you have to use it all or throw it out because it doesn't really stay fresh. But I'm like, hmm, panko in a can might work. Target. I ordered it from Target.com. Um, actually, I went. I, oh, I'm sorry. Um, it, you said Kathy, right? Kathy asked me about where I get my sugar-free barbecue sauce. It's actually no sugar added because I think it's got tomatoes and I think it's got like one gram of carbs per table, two, two tablespoons or whatever, or less. It could be less, but anyway, they can't call it sugar less unless if it's got any sugar in it. They have to call it no sugar added. But anyway, I got it from Target.com. I went on there looking for a sugar substitute my sister was telling me about, and I found a ton of stuff. I found like no sugar added almond butter at a really reasonable price for almond butter. I found no sugar added uh, barbecue sauce, no sugar added ketchup. And the third thing that is escaping me, fourth thing that is escaping me right now. I'll remember it and I'll jump in here, you'll see. I needed black pepper. So it's funny because mom doesn't, I don't cook with black pepper for when I cook for the family. Um, so I don't use it as much as I would have like at home, but, or at home, back in the day. Um, but I didn't realize I was totally out. And we just went to the ashery and got all the spices, but Jim was like, um, I'm sure it's some up there. It wasn't, so I got some. I picked up two cans. Jim's favorite pickles, his sandwich pickles. He loves these. Mm, yeah, exactly. By Great Gherkin, kosher dill slices. Actually, they're from, yeah, Peepers. They're, uh, uh, they're from Peepers. I got, there was an ad on Instagram, which I've kind of been like, slow down your shopping on Instagram ads, Jerry. But what, the reason I bought them is because they have blue light blocking technology and part of being social media person is I'm really on my phone constantly. And I can I was getting eye strain from all the blue light, just constant blue light, blue light. So they helped almost immediately. I, I noticed the difference in the first hour I wore them, which is weird. They are heavy, this particular model though, like Lisa was talking, uh, Lisa was talking to me cause she bought a pair too. And she's like, they're heavy. They feel like they weigh on my nose. The first pair that I got with the metal sides were a little bit better. These ones are a little heavy, but they come in different styles. These ones just look really cute on the lady who runs the store. And I was like, yes, please. I got some no stir. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Marcy said I, because of my hauls, I've been, she's finding out what I'm missing. And that's why I keep doing it. So go ahead. Okay. Hi, everybody. If you're joining us now. Um, I picked up my favorite. This is Peanut Delight No Stir Creamy Natural Peanut Butter. 
I really wish Aldi, if you're watching, please make this in a crunchy, chunky peanut butter. That'd be so great. Um, but this is natural peanut butter, so it's got a lot less sugar. It has only three grams of sugar per two tablespoons, which is an ounce. So um, it's a lot less than regular conventional peanut butter. I picked up two out of the 17 cans of hash that I'm probably going to need for my party because Lisa's coming for a visit. And I picked up three of the corned beef hash. That just slipped right by her. She must be reading the comments. <laughs> um, I picked up one of my fat-free refried beans. We just had taco night the other night, so I usually like to keep it in the closet because you never know when you're going to need it. The taco bean brownie recipe was a Weight Watchers recipe. No, black beans was, what was the taco? Hold on a second. Refried beans wasn't that. That was black beans. What am I thinking about? What did you replace refried beans with? That's a good question. I'm going to have to think about that. Sorry, I didn't mean to confuse you. You make black beans, brownies with black beans, but I feel like the refried beans, the fat-free refried beans were something else. And now I'm not going to think about it. Um, I picked up a can of sliced harvest, not harvest, happy harvest is the name of the company, but sliced beets because I want to make Jimmy some Harvard beets. My dad used to make them for him and my, him and Jim all the time. And I was like, I don't eat them. So I will only get one can and make them. My dad used to make like, because him and Jim would eat them like for a week. So I was talking to somebody online and somebody was like, oh, that's really easy to do. All right, well, and I'll try it. Okay, so this was one thing. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> True. Nelly said all this food always makes her hungry. Yes, I, I, I'm sorry about that. It's really easy when you shop online because you can sit home and you can really be diligent about like, you don't always get what you want because sometimes it's sold out by the time you actually purchase it. Like they said they had schnitzel and it's that time, two times a year you can fill up on schnitzel. Um, and they were sold out. The lady's like, she couldn't find it. So I even was on the text with her and I was like, did you check the center freezer? Cause that's usually where they keep it when they have it. And she's like, yes, yeah. so it looks like it was there, but it's empty. So, um, Oh, thank you, Charmaine. That's sweet. Mm. Oh, is that, is that Angel? Oh no. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, Jill Rand, Angel, who's on there, she does tumblers on her channel. She's got a really, she's just starting out and she's got, she's really good. I didn't know you covered tumblers with epoxy. So that was, she taught me something right away. Um, I found this in powder. I like to keep it for when I run out of creamer. I will tell you that the powder tum sometimes gives me indigestion if I drink it too many days in a row. But usually just if it's one day emergency, I'm okay. So these are, these were my treat. And I said to Jimmy this morning, here's what I said to him. I'm like, I'm really, excuse my language, but I'm like, I'm really pissed off that I don't have any treats. And I was like, but it's my fault because I keep not buying the treats because I don't want to have the treats. So he's like, well, I don't know what to tell you about that because you're making that decision. And I was like, okay, as far as bad treats are concerned, this is, this is just how I'm going to logically explain it in my brain. And it's a bunch of BS. I'm just telling you, I'm thinking peanut butter wafers. The wafers are airy, so there's like less volume. Peanut butter has protein. Is any of this meld with you guys? No, just me? All right. Well, that's what I picked up as my big treat for this week. Um, well, my sweet treat, I should say, because then we got these. So, you know, we've been addicted to the Chester's puffs, the cheese puffs. And I said to him, I'm like, did we try these already? I think we did. He couldn't remember. But they're only $1.35 at Aldi. Even when you get them from Instacart, they're probably cheaper at Aldi. Um, so we picked up two bags because we'll go through them when nobody's looking. Just be like, bye. <laughs> I knew Jesus would appreciate me getting that peanut butter wafers. Um, I also got Jimmy his favorite nacho bugles. He, these are like the one thing that you can never, there'll never be any stale ones going in the garbage. Even when he gets the family size. Um, oh, this was different. <laughs> I, I, I asked for a stand-up taco kit, but they didn't say that they had this one, but this is the one we prefer in my family anyway because it's got hard and soft tacos. But this is Old El Paso. You get 
mild taco sauce seasoning mix, six hard shells, six soft taco shells. And I'll tell you a secret since she's on the phone. My best friend Lisa makes her taco meat. She uses like the powder mix. Then she takes taco sauce and she puts it in the meat. I'm telling you, okay? I don't know, like one of these things, you're like, all right, I was 25 before I had yellow squash. I was 45 before I realized you should do that. I can't do it home because the taco seasoning does have too much kick for mom, just even though it's mild, it does have too much kick for her. But when I go to her house, I fight the boys for taco meat. That's all I'm saying. I ordered this organic uh, Simply Nature's stir and garlic paste. I like this. I do love the jar of garlic, but this one is like finely. So if you're making something that's like Alfredo, you know what I mean? Like where you really just want a creamy garlic, you want to pulverize your garlic, this is your way to go. Also, if you're making dressings and you don't want to end up chewing into a piece of garlic, this is definitely the way to go. You know, I love the basil and ginger that comes like this too. Okay. I've just got a couple more things. I'm so excited. Look inside of them. They had yeast. You can tell like we're starting to ease up. Do they have toilet paper? Yes, they have toilet paper and they have yeast. Yeast is back in stock. Um, it was hard to find for a long time. This is active dry yeast, three packs. I wanted to make bread months ago because we started with the bread machine and I needed a sourdough starter and I, I'm glad, but I got it. It is, but I have the best garlic bread recipe on my channel. So go back into the cooking playlist, click on my face, scroll over to playlists, go to the one that says cooking, click on it and find the one that says the world's best garlic bread. Trust me, you're gonna thank me tomorrow. Um, my dad, it's my dad's recipe and it's just like, it's everything you could possibly want. Um, I picked up a ranch powder mix because cracked chicken. You guys know about cracked chicken? Does anybody know about cracked chicken? I know you guys are behind me, so I'm just gonna wait for the answer. No, I'm kidding. But a lot of keto recipes use ranch powder mix as a go-to season to make it easy. Um, and the other thing I picked up just to have extra, and I thought this would be interesting to try, is this is one 25% less sodium mild taco mix. So will I notice that much of a difference? I don't know, the cheat. Oh, bye Charmaine, happy Sunday. Charmaine has to get to work, so bye Charmaine, happy Sunday. I needed sauerkraut. Sauerkraut's so good. They have this all year. This is one of the German foods that they keep in stock all year. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but it's really good for your digestive system too. The vinegar, I guess, is really, the fact that there's fiber in, in cabbage is probably another reason, but. Mom's, this is a major repurchase. This is Mom's um, whole grain white bread like really the her favorite bread and she loves it from all these is better than all the other stores and this i saw on the website okay this is zero net carbs wheat bread five grams of protein nine grams of fiber zero net carbs zero guilt grams guilt that's what it says look zero grams of guilt isn't that funny so i don't know how it's gonna be i'm gonna try it it is wheat so it may like inflame my arthritis a little bit but um we're definitely going to give it a try and i will definitely let you guys know um you know i miss mashed potatoes so jill said mashed potatoes with ranch is awesome and i can't tell you jill how much i miss mashed potatoes if i could go if i could rewind time because i can still have there's alternative pastas they're, you know, like that I think are just as good as pasta. There's alternative breads that I think are just as good as bread. There are, I can have ice cream as long as it's got full fat in it. I, you know, there's things that I cannot have, shouldn't have, whatever. But there is no, I can, I've not found a good substitute for mashed potatoes. Even the mashed cauliflower. Mashed cauliflower is good, but it is not mashed potatoes. And I grew up on mashed potatoes because not only Irish, but poor. So that's like potatoes were in everything. Okay, going back to cracked chicken. Oh, okay. 
it will be a future video coming up. It is called crack chicken because like crack, it's addictive. So I'm not trying to belittle anybody's addiction to drugs. Trust me, that's not trying to be insensitive to it. But I didn't name it. It's just what it's called that. And the reason it's called that is because you, you can't stop. It's like an addictive thing. It's really simple and it's made in the crock pot or the instant pot. You can make it in the oven too. But it's the summertime and who wants to do that? Even if you live in Alaska, you don't want to turn your oven on now. So it's chicken breasts, cream cheese, bacon, cheese, and ranch powder or ranch dressing. It depends on whose recipe you look at. Um, I will be sharing that as well as the buffalo ranch dip. So stay tuned for that. But I think we're going to try something a little different. I'm going to take you guys to the refrigerator. All right. If you give me two seconds to walk the eggs, I'll come back and get you. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. Mom's still talking to me. So if you guys... You guys have any questions? She's right here. Hey, can you hear me on the video? Oh, no, you have your volume down. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I love turnips. Love turnips. Up. Turnips were in all of the beefy soups. The, will you guys be able to see me? I'll touch it down a little bit. This is gonna be a very full and very unorganized refrigerator freezer because as you guys know, this is Jim's job. So forgive me. But what makes them crack is that they're addictive. It's like crack, the co you know, like crack cocaine. It's not, a, it's not a nice name by any stretch of the imagination. It's a delicious and you can't stop eating it. I'll just put that up there. She'll, I'll fix it for her later. Oh, see? The brownie, the brookie dough jumped out of the freezer because it wants to come to me. Ooh, that sounds really good though. Bye, Aaron. You're not coming to the refrigerator, Aaron. I don't blame you. <laughs> um, let's just see if we can do this really quickly. Forgive me, everyone. I'm right here. <laughs> I'm just locking up the tripod so I can have you all stand nice and tall with me. Okay. All right. Let's get the refrigerator bag. Connie Zimmerman or a different Connie? Oh, hi, Connie. Okay. So that's a full refrigerator. Um, that's a blessing. My family never really grew up wanting like we did. My family that I'm married into. Sorry, I'm down here. My family that I'm married into never grew up wanting like we did. Um, so they see a full refrigerator and they're disturbed by it <laughs> i see a full refrigerator and i realize how blessed i am so it's all a matter of perspective you know um we also don't have i'm very particular does everybody else have a oh hi i'm up here now does everybody else have a particular way that they like to organize their refrigerator please say yes don't just say it's me jerry you're crazy um, I love to, oh good, I love to do, this is, because <laughs> I was my boobs, um, th this is my leftover shelf, this is my beverage shelf, like that kind of thing, that's my thing, so, I'll put my, <laughs> it's like the cat thing, right? So they say about cats. Okay. Oh. All right, I'm just gonna put that dip up there. And cheese in the cheese drawer. You know what's funny about the sour cream? It was accidentally up against the condenser. 
And I went to go have it in my tacos the other day. It was frozen salad. Oh, no. <clears throat> okay. Bins. Jill, don't be silly. Have you, have you met my family? Silly, silly Jill. No, actually, I have bins in the freezer. Sorry about the crinkly bag. I have bins in the freezer, as you're about to see. And they don't really work for everybody else. Um, okay. This is my bin of breakfast food. Somebody did ask me about a breakfast freezer. You have a freezer just for breakfast? Hey, do I see a super chat on there, Mom? Okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that is my kind of girl. Hopefully you're a girl, whatever, because I just said that, but. You know, it's 2020. You can pick and choose. Woo, I did it. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. That is going to stay till he comes home. Actually, that's not true. I have vegetables. I could put the, really just the broccoli and cabbage. Well, they don't even have to go away right now. I'll finish talking with you guys. Let me grab my coffee and my iPad because Lisa's on the iPad. I like my table it's so nice Jim's like what's in that box and I was like that box is a Valentine's Day wreath and a Mardi Gras wreath that I've been trying to get you to put away in its appropriate wreath holder in the utility room I wouldn't mind so much if he didn't want to have such control over these spaces it is going to get dark, but it's going to get a lot cooler. Okay. Hi, everybody. People are like, bleh. Is anybody getting seasick? Oh, I know I can't. When my knee hurts, I'm just all dragging. Oh. Okay. Hi. Oh, this is fun. Hi. You want to see what I got? You ready? Alexa. Turn on Jerry's lamp. She didn't do it. Alexa, turn on Jerry's lamp. Okay. Yay. I got a, I got a fancy light bulb. Oh. So that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I enjoyed it. I like company. I don't like being by myself so much. Um, and I know with all the technical difficulties we had yesterday... There was no video last night. So you guys will appreciate this. Um, husbands, you know. So it was 9.20 last night and husbands. Um, he, was in a, he was in a fun mood. I think one of you all told me about something called uh, Sunday syndrome, is that what they called it? Where, oh, the Sunday blues where a lot of people just spend all day being sad on Sunday because they have to go back to work Monday morning, basically ruining their Sunday, which is kind of silly, but, so Jim seems to get that the day before he's gotta go back to work and he can be a little cranky. So last night he was super cranky. And at about 9.20, I was like, I'm just gonna go get some Starbucks at 9.20 at night. So I got in the car and I called Lisa and I'm like, I'm going to Starbucks. I'm just gonna, just gonna sit in the car for a little bit. And uh, she'll attest to, he came out when I came back and he felt really bad and gave me a kiss and all the things. And I'm like, just need some alone time. He gets alone time every day, you know? Um, but usually when he's having his alone time, I'm doing the morning cleaning or the dishwasher or whatever. So I don't really consider that me time. Do you? <laughs> um, anybody's? Oh, so Jill. <laughs> yes, Jill, thank you. Uh, Lisa, we, I mentioned in the beginning of the video that this is going to be, yeah, this is going to be a new thing. If you're just joining us, 
This is sort of a new thing I wanted to try. I originally wanted to try it with a DIY, but I thought doing a live DIY and trying to juggle this all at the same time was just gonna be a little bit too much. So I was like, let's start with a live haul. And that's what we did. So it's just the girls. I mean, any, any of the male people who wanna come in are more than welcome. Um, but right now it's just, Lisa's reading my comments to me because I'm blind as a bat. Okay, I would like to show you. I can show everybody because I never really get to show this on when we're doing it together with Jim, but this is me reading the comments on my phone. This is how close I have to be. Hey, my friend, I like being, I like being, being myself, by myself. Oh yeah, I like being by myself too. So that's just a little too much ear, in my opinion. Do you guys think so? It's just looking too much at my eyeballs. Oh, that's good. So Marcy, oh, that's good, Marcy, that's good. Marcy just said that she only gets to have, one time a week she gets to have something white because of her diabetes. And that's probably a really good rule. I, I like to do balance. So here's the thing. If I have like, I bought these nutty bars. So tomorrow after dinner, lunch, breakfast, breakfast, whatever time we eat our meal, I'm gonna want one of those. So I will most likely not have a carb at that meal. So tomorrow, say if I make like Jim's, like just Aunt Helen's Parmesan chicken. There is carbs in the chicken coating, but if I make it with a side, like garlic potatoes or garlic mashed potatoes or garlic noodles or whatever, I won't have that. I'll just have my vegetable and my chicken because I'm gonna save my carb for my snack. And that's the way I like to do it, but that's just me. What I've learned is, recently remembered, that I got diagnosed as type two diabetic 10 years ago in June, June 6th or June 10th, I can't remember. It was either 6 6 10 or 6 10 10, I don't remember. But um, 10 years of living with it, you learn what your body can and cannot do. Now my body is changing my hormones are changing, my body is changing. So I'm, I'm starting to relearn things over. Things that worked for me three, even two years ago don't necessarily work for me right now. So um, I don't test my sugars three times a day like I used to. I just do them like if I'm about to have a big meal or if I just had a big meal or if I'm not feeling right, that type of thing. So um, no. Sheila was asking about insulin or meds. Sheila, right now I'm on Jardians. Um, Jardians is one that takes the blood sugar out in your urine stream, kind of like Foxiga um, was like that too. But I think that I'm probably gonna get changed to something when I go back to the doctor after getting this insurance messed up, thing messed up, fixed. I wanted to try Otesla, which is like a once a week injectable. I met a lady at Denny's before social distancing and she was taking it and I really, oh, another super chat, is that a sticker? Am I supposed to see what that is? Oh, so cute. Keep it up, thank you. Um, and I was talking to her about how she feels about it and she was really had some positive feelings about it. So I was thinking like, okay, maybe we'll try something like that. Um, but for the most part, um, my numbers are fairly good. There are times where I'm like, well, I shouldn't have had so much of that, but I've tried to keep the balance. And there's certain things that like, oh, this, I'm always able to sit down and have like, uh, three scoops of ice cream and it never bothered me before, but now maybe just two scoops of ice cream because three scoops may bother me more than it used to. So. I'm learning that as I grow. And I guess that's menopause in general. We, we need to change our diets for menopause in general because our whole body systems are out of whack. Anything else? Oh, okay. I don't even know where Delco, Pennsylvania is. Is that by, yeah, I was gonna say, is that by Pittsburghy or like, Philadelphia E or Liz, I so appreciate that about you. Um, that is the best way to say it. And I have like when my father was the one that was sick, I 
didn't realize that. When I worked at the group home and I took care of people all day for 15 years, that was something that I knew was important. But when it came to like my own family, I did it to myself, made myself feel guilty for like leaving for that period of time. But I got over that because eventually I was gonna pull my hair out. Um, and I realized that when he went into the, um, like the nursing facility to get like, the rehabs, I couldn't think of rehab, sorry. The rehab facility for his like physical therapy, that time that I had by myself, totally important, totally important. So definitely they tell you as a caregiver, think about oxygen masks on an airplane. They tell, the stewardess tells you, put your own mask on before you can assist others. And that's really what that is the perfect analogy for it because you really have to make sure that you're going to be okay so that you can be there for other people. So good one, Liz. Thank you. Liz is pretty awesome. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, Liz was the one who sent Jimmy Yorkshire tea. If you guys don't know Liz, Liz Perryman, that's her. Yeah. He loves that Liz, by the way. I've been able to find it on Amazon, which is good. Congratulations. When do you do? That's okay. Wow. That's really good, though. That's really good. Now, all the time, because I thought with insulin was like, depending on what you were going to eat, Marianne. No, I'm sorry. I was just all the time. So I was wondering, Marianne, all the time. Marianne said her insulin dose, she's been taking the same dose since she's 13. Now she's 55. But I thought with insulin, it depended on what you actually ate. So that's why, or how your physical activity was too. So I was, I was curious about that. I'm gonna tell you a shrick it. Um, that's funny. Psst, 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 psst. Here, let me tell you a secret. Hi, I love all of you. How's that? That's not a secret. I tell you guys that all the time. Um, well, this has really been fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't even know how long it's been because I have to put glasses on and do this. More secrets. 47 minutes. That's not. We got. We're good. We got a few minutes. Unless you have to go, Ma. Okay. So you want to hear something funny that I call Lisa Ma or Mama? It's for the opposite reason that I used to call my mother Katie. So Lisa, when you're around with all of the thousand children and you're like, it's this the thousand children that she's got a thousand children. She doesn't really always respond to her name. So you got to call her Ma. My mother being around the thousand children, stopped responding to ma, mommy, mommy, ma, ma, mom. I had to call her Katie. So I used to be like, ma, mommy. Like Stewie from the commercial. Mom, mommy, ma, ma, Katie, what? Okay, gotcha. What were you gonna say? Happy birthday, Patty Clark. 60, oh my goodness. She's 60 and she was born in 1960. That's what 2020 is special for you. Um, it's going to be a long time since I turned 70 and I turned 70. That's going to be for a long time. Um, oh, that's fun. Happy birthday. Wow, you guys are like birthday buddies. Every All the cancers. All the cancers. Um, man, 60. I'm excited to turn 50. So if you guys don't know, I think I've said it before in vlogs, but if you don't know, my mom and my paternal grandmother died both before they turned 50. They both were 49 when they passed away. So I am the last sister to like make that milestone. So it's like a big deal for us. Um, I do have a little brother who's, what the heck? <laughs> Sorry, Lisa's kid is playing on the video game, <laughs> screaming in the background of her phone and it freaked me out for a second. Sorry, everybody. Uh, yes, that's my life. Hashtag, hashtag my life. Hashtag mom life. Um, but anyway, to make it to 50 has always really been a milestone in my family. So everyone who's achieved it, um, we just like celebrate, celebrate. And I feel like because they were both women, it's it's going to be 
an important milestone when my brother reaches 52, but 50 also, but for the women, when the women all achieve 50, then we can like really celebrate, if you, I feel like. Um, when the men reach 70. Oh, go ahead, Connie Han. Was it that good of a party, Connie? Whoop, whoop. I'm gonna hope I don't remember 50 either. I'm gonna lay out the itinerary next to the bottle of Kahlua. I'll be like, I see you guys in four days. Wake me up when you need to go to the airport. Um, no, I'm just really excited and I'm not gonna cry because I, I can feel it, so I'm not gonna cry. But I, I'm just really excited for the plans and for everybody to be here, for my sister Alicia to be here. She hasn't been here yet. I've lived here for seven years now and this is her first trip. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be a good time. Oh, we got a lot of people saying stuff. What are they saying? You want to make me cry. Okay, hold on a second. They don't know that you're talking to me and they're basically staring at me, staring at the phone. So hold on a second. <laughs> Lisa is reading the comments to me. So let, I'm just gonna do one at a time really quick. Um, tell me who made me cry. Marcy C, thank you Marcy, that was really sweet. And I promised I was not going to cry during this live stream, so nice try. And no, I'm kidding. Um, and I love that I'm there for you, I do, I really do. Um, who else am I talking to? I know it's going fast. Kahlua is coffee. So I like Kahlua and half and half is my favorite. She asked if, oh, Sheila asked if I like Kahlua and coffee, but Kahlua is coffee flavored liqueur. And I actually like it with half and half. I used to just drink it with milk. And then Lisa's friend turned me onto it with half and half, and it's been all over but the shouting. When you go to the bar, you get it with cream, and I always felt that was too rich. Never thought of half and half. Just weird. Um, and I was just getting there, and I was like, have you take it, and you put it with a scoop of vanilla ice cream? Or you can do it with Bailey's, or you can add vodka to it. Um, Kahlua and milk or Kahlua and cream is just called a sombrero by itself. So I love that too. And it's coffee flavored liqueur. That's actually like rum. So it's really, it's nice. It's just a sipping, it's just a sipping alcohol and then don't get up. You have like three or four of those. You're like, oh, it's like going to Starbucks. And then you go to fall down your face. Love it. Totally worth it. Yeah. You guys just want to see me drunk on my birthday. That's why everybody wants me to live stream on my birthday party. They all wanted. Yes, Delisa. As soon as like it's okay for us to hug in person, because there's no way I'm meeting. Like when I met the lady um, Pam from Cuba at the Dollar Tree, I almost was like, I'm gonna get arrested because I'm gonna have to hug her, and I can't hug her. I can't hug her. I could. I could. And it was so hard. It was so hard. Like when I first met the first two people out in public, one was here in Rolla, and then one was. Um, in Texas, believe it or not, I did totally just gave them huge hugs and took pictures with them. And I was like, there's no way I'm just going to like not want to hug on you. So, and I need somebody to go to the Dollar Tree with Delisa Cooks. Come on, you know, that's how it is. Lisa will tell you when I go to the Dollar Tree, first of all, I want to look at certain things and they're like, bye Felicia. They just leave me in the dust. Um, but it's so much better because then like when I shop with Jim, do you really need that? How many of those do you have at home? Didn't I see those already? And Lisa, Lisa's good. She'll keep me in check. She'll be like, didn't you buy that at the 99 cent only store? But no, but this one's a little different. No, no, no. Put it back. Put it back. I love police. I love, I love having shopping police. That's my favorite. My favorite thing is to shop. Lisa, my bestie's friend, favorite thing is to do is to unshop. Used to be. She used to walk around the store, just put stuff in her cart and get to the register and be like, you know what? Here. And give it to her kids to put back. She'd be like, here, go put that back. Go put that back. Go pick the back. 
I was like, you don't like to shop. You like to unshop. So what do we have? That's right. That's right. And I don't really need this. You know what, Nelly? This is what I say about junk food. Nelly said, I don't need it, but I want it. And what I say about junk food is if God wanted almost to only eat, yeah. if we were, oh, let's start over. Hi, how you doing? How are you guys doing? If God wanted us to only eat what we needed, there'd be no such thing as junk food. That's the same thing with buying stuff at the Dollar Tree, in my opinion. It's junk food for the brain. For your home. I know, Ethel, I'm sorry. I wish I could send you a huge box. Even just shipping to Alaska is like, you know, I'd be like, it's like shipping to another country. Um, but it shouldn't be, right? It should be. I'm just saying. It's America. Just because you have to go through Canada or the water, it's still America. <laughs> you know... When I was growing, it's funny, Connie said no food is junk, LOL. And when I was growing up, food was food. Like, we, I know now as an adult, and my sisters, when we would get together and talk, we know now as adults that my parents did the best that they could without asking for assistance, which probably isn't the best they could have done because they probably should have just hunkered down and asked for assistance. But I understand where they were coming from. Hold on, I'm sorry. <coughs> Can't, you can't turn away from sneezing on a live stream. Oh, no, okay. I thought another one was coming. Um, but when we were growing up, it was like, it filled your belly. It was calories. Thank you. <laughs> it filled your belly. It was calories. Sanitizer. Um, and... And it was sustenance, so it was like, you know, it got you through the day, even if it only gave you spurts of energy, you know. We ate poor, so poorly when we were young, and we didn't, not that we didn't know better. It was just a different time, you know. It was just a different time, so now we know much better. That's true. That's it, that, um, it's funny because soul food in general so they liz said that uh junk food is good because it's wrapped in sweetness um and it's really just good for the soul and it's funny because it makes you think of soul food if you ever looked at soul food there are a few things that actually could be considered on the healthier side but the majority of soul food is not but it's comfort food in the best way possible um, my mouth is just thinking about collard greens and my mouth is just like watering thinking about cornbread pudding and fried chicken and ham and all the things that green beans <laughs> when i first started working at ahrc uh, we had a cook because the house had a lot of people and her role was just basically to cook um, her name was kitty and she was she actually lived in very close to me on long island but she grew up she's from the south and she basically, every meal was like soul food. She was the one who first fed me my first collard green. She fed me my baked barbecue chicken. Just You name it. I could think of all of my favorites from her. And I'm just like, man. And she used to feed us. At AHRC, they feed you. They allow you. To, they want you to eat with everybody because it's a family environment in their home. So we got to eat. Oh, girl, did we get to eat. Bye, Jill. Have fun with your company. And then the girls, when I worked at the day program, introduced me to a soul food place in Queens that one of my supervisors said, why is there a van going into Queens? And I'm like, well, they're going for lunch. <laughs> and they're like, why are they going to lunch in Queens? And I'm like, because it's a specific type of lunch we can only get in Queens, leave me alone. So um, it was called, oh, go ahead. No, you're right. Yes, that too. Even just, even just like the the sweet treats, like so sweet. Like you, it's not even just like you have a sweet treat. You have like such sweet treats. Sharon used to make caramelitas. Dulce de leche cake. It's just everything you could think of. It's just like, it's it's Latina food is like it's like amped, you know. 
Um, it's either got it's either got like great seasoning spices, like it's got great spices. And I hate to use the word spices for seasoning because people think spices and they think hot. It's not always fiery spices. It's just different seasonings, like cumin. And, I'm I'm done. I'm done. What is it? An hour yet? <laughs> Yes, Deborah, I do. Hi, are you joining us? So Deborah, if you're just joining us, Lisa is reading my comments to me in my ear because I'm old and can't see the phone. Little tiny print, far, far, far away. Um, actually, it's probably, Maz, close to an hour now, or over an hour, probably. Close, 50 something. Okay, hold on. Oh, I got a lot of messages coming through, hold on. Oh, yep, yeah, no, it's an hour and 24. Um, I like to, I like to leave it at like an hour because that's anything long, much longer than an hour. It takes, it has difficulty uploading for people to watch in the future. So, um, hopefully this was fun. It seemed like it was fun. It seemed like everybody had a lot of fun. Um, you guys are a trip. I love you. This was very interesting to do. And I'm pretty sure that we can do a live crafting this way. If you, uh, Lisa, would you agree? Lisa's in my ear. If you're just joining us, I have my best friend in my ear talking to me through my iPad so that I can be on the phone with you doing a live without my husband. Um, oh, is it, is it, is it 68 still or hippie mom? Yeah. So Lisa is hippie mama 68 in the comments. Um, she's a moderator on the channel and she's also, um, helping me today by reading comments to me. So make sure you say hi to her too. But I hope this was fun. If you were just joining us, we actually did a live Aldi haul. I don't know if you noticed the title. Um, that was pretty interesting. Then people got to, got to watch me waddle to the kitchen and put it away, which was fun. Um, but it was, it actually, this was really, this was a really fun experiment and I'm glad it worked out. So I'm really glad everybody got to join us. I'm sorry there wasn't a video last night, but this is like bonus. So um, thank you all for joining me. Um, if you guys have any questions, there's going to be a comment box eventually. You'll see. Um, and maybe I'll get to it. I don't know. Sometimes I can. Sometimes it doesn't pop up. Sometimes it does pop up. Sometimes I have to search for it. It's weird. I don't know. But if you have any questions, leave them there. All right. And take care. God bless. I'll see you next time. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. 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 Love you too. Bye-bye, nice lady. Love you. Oh, look. There's no end button. Did they move the end button? There it is.